Okay guys, so I am on a show um, with a substantial budget, but I have a ton of facial hair that needs to be laid on a dime. So I am going to show you a quick trick, um, how I bring a cheaper stash, lace stash and beard to life. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna bring it into here and his younger version of Hulk Hogan and then um, the Hulk Hogan as we know it. And I'm going to bring it to life with a few steps that I will show you um, what to do and how to get there on a dime. Stay tuned. Okay, so when you get a out of kit lace mustache, they come quite um, firm and it uh, feels like they have some product in it. So a quick way to uh, remove that and uh, make it workable, I use a gentle soap and I give it a couple pumps and then I just give it a, a quite uh, a gentle um, wash just to get rid of all of that um, build up and product in there. This allows you to be able to manipulate it and um, steam it and curl it and lift it at the, um, at the edges here easier without um, burning it. Even though it is synthetic, I'm sorry, even though it is a 100% real human hair, um, these uh, out of kit um, mustaches are, um, you know, a little bit tricky, but you can uh, work with them and they are manageable and they are a good, cheap um, solution. Okay, so then I just take it and I um, rinse it off gently and then I will let it dry overnight to make sure it's completely dry before you put any of your tongs or your hot tools to it and uh, it'll be good as new. Stay tuned. So I've taken the stash out of the package and I just kind of lay it on the top of my um, foam head like this just so that it kind of gives me some more room to work with. Um, I am going to gently comb it out and um, protect the lace and um, I do like that it kind of has a little bit of a curl but I don't need it to be this curly so I do um, take my steamer to it just to kind of smooth it out a little bit and then I will take my um, end of my tail comb and I will heat it up on my iron and then I will go in at the edges of the lace here and um, create a lift and then smooth it out. I will have to probably go in and, and, and shape it to kind of, you know, make it that, you know, this, that shape here. And then I will uh, keep that hair so that if I have to, um, you know, add any sparingly, I have the exact match. And then I'm going to take um, my uh, makeup here for, for hair. Uh, it's an um, alcohol-based makeup, and I will go in at the edges here, just towards the lace to kind of give it that darkness that we see here, and then leave the rest really, really that yellow blonde as um, so we all recognize the Hulk Hogan that we know. Stay tuned. Okay, so I took my cheaper lace chin beard and washed it to get off all of the manufacturing um, crunchy, uh, whatever they use on it, glue, spray, I'm not quite sure. And I uh, washed it off and softened it up. So I'm going to now replace uh, it onto my foam head. Oops. Put it on my foam head and I am going to uh, steam it and curl it and then um, airbrush it uh, with white to match the white chin beard that I need for my shoot. Okay, so bring this yellow beard to white. I'm taking my airbrush gun and my um, Illustrator uh, alcohol-based alcohol-based paints and uh, putting it through my compressor and breaking it down. I did kind of already work on it, so I'm just kind of putting in, I put in a silvery pearl color first to break down the yellow, and now I'm going in with the white just to kind of give it that Santa Clausy look that I want, but I still need it to remain looking real. 
Stay tuned for the finished product. Okay, so we started with this pre-made bought lace um, beard. Um, I went from there to here. I did wash it and steam it. And now I'm going to just curl in all the edges here with my very thin, thin pencil curling iron to bring it um, to life. So this character is a very rough caveman-y character. So it's supposed to look um, ratted and tatted, but I wanted to kind of bring a realistic life to it. So you can see that it is a quite a nice they done um, lace piece for the price. Um, you just have to put in a little bit of work so you can make it work. Stay tuned. Okay, so if you don't have proper tongs, um, because sometimes we just don't have it in the budget, I am using this thin pencil um, wand. And I'm just gonna kind of try and show you how I do it. Okay, and I'm going in here. Uh, I'm gonna do this, so there we go. And I'm just on low heat, gently going back and forth, just to kind of create a bounce at the root. So it looks like the hair is coming in. So see how it's kind of all lifted here. So when you push it in to the skin, it actually looks like the hair is coming from the skin. And on this side, how I didn't see how I didn't do it, and it's laying flat and you can see the lace. So let me just... Um, without curling at the root and then with curling at the root and then you can style it on the face as you need okay so that's another little trick I hope you guys found that helpful here are a few photos that we achieved from using the cheaper quality stashes and beards and brought them to life for our film a few of them are pretty much the exact match and we had fun working on this project Hope you enjoyed.